Yo, so what is up? We're going to play some Mortuary Assistant today. I'm going to give it a minute, but I just wanted to show you guys this warning that if you start to experience real shit outside of the game, that's uh, that's not on them. I'm going to go ahead and just can make it a little bit smaller. Okay, take up less. There we go. So let's go to options, settings, target FPS, 120, ultra, game settings. Go ahead and do the tutorial since not doing it in VR this time, but eventually I will do it in VR. Um, I don't know if I should play. I'm going to play keyboard. So control is crouch, shift to sprint. Uh, right mouse button is quick inventory. Left mouse button is use. Okay, that's pretty standard stuff. Um, so yeah, this is the first time I'll be playing this game. And I haven't... I haven't had any experience with it yet. I haven't actually watched anybody play it. I've I've seen the Steam store video part, but that's that's it. So let's test it out. See what happens. New affiliate. If you feel like it, you got a prime sub just laying around. You haven't used it. Maybe throw it my way. Eh. I try to stream every day or night um most of the time around 9 p.m is when i'd like to be doing it this week's been a little rough because i've been falling asleep around 9 10 p.m um getting up at like 5 a.m so that's it's weird i i usually don't do that i'm usually a night owl but yeah i figured test this game out i haven't played this game it's been in my steam library for a while now for some reason we've got some rendering lag going on 3080 rendering lag makes sense um let's go ahead and go to new shift let's close out of that new shift i got that winter eyebrow itch that's why they're almost completely gone I don't know if you can see. They're growing back a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. All right, haunting in I Connecticut. I understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You it's good. Come so far. Proud. I'm gonna make you so proud, mommy. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. The old teacher's kind oh, of Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? That's you Sarah Connor. away from me. <laughs> no. No. I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. Good. River Fields. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. Jesus Christ, I don't like Jason that. Grandma, Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be oh, worried about you make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. I mean, we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's all fine. of the uh, right. subtitles Sorry. are available to people. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So Hopefully it's a ten blade... Oh, it's a nice little. I I don't know if I want that. Cross dog tag. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. All right, it's mine. Click. Thanks. There we go. All right, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. Proud. When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. Oh. Huh? My review is tomorrow. I just started. That's a lie. You're lying. You're a liar. 
horrible liar. Lying to grandma? That's... That's rough. Yes. Hmm, Riverfields Mortuary. We actually used to ghost hunt me and my family. My girlfriend at the time, who's now my wife. All right. <laughs> We'd go. Here we go. They had a mausoleum that was reportedly haunted here where we live. And I really feel like I should be playing this in VR. I had to adjust the sensitivity a little bit because I'm not. Yeah, those options, controls. Where's my sensitivity? There we go. Let's turn that up quite a bit. Get out of there. Much better. Okay. Is that her? Hey, how's it going? Clam dip. All right. Becca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. P.S. Good luck. All right. Let's go to the desk. That's bathroom. Oh, there's the desk. That looks like a pencil. Okay. Equip. Let's sign the paperwork. Quick access. Okay. Pencil. Now it's signed. Alright. Anything else in here that... Uh, can I pick that up? Yep. Okay, so, so I'm not playing this in VR. It's not a great experience. It would probably look a lot better if I had a hand there picking it up. half ass tempted to throw on the... Uh, the old Oculus might be a better experience, I think. Also, since options, let's go ahead and target 60 FPS instead of 120. I think that might be part of the thing, especially since I've got it set to V-Sync. There we go. Might be part of the rendering lag problems. Okay. Huh? Rebecca, great, perfect timing. What's up, dog? I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Okay. Moving the deceased. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key. Then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. Sounds good. So we get here. Okay. And then we're going to walk backwards. without destroying this. Okay. Okay. So now E. Ah, yeah, yeah. E. And then backing it up. I thought I had to hold E. All right, it's in cold storage. This looks like a furnace. If I know anything from Ozark, this is for burning bodies of snitches and bitches. All right, so now left mouse button. Uh, okay, I guess I've got to grab him again. All right, nope. All right, let's grab him again. It was like docking a truck on an American truck simulator. All right. Get in there. Get in there, fella. No? All right, hold on. Can I, can I grip him up? Left mouse button. Get in there. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong here? A 
left mouse button. Oh, do I need to drag this part out? Yep. Yeah, now we dock up the body. All right, fella. Here we go. It's going to get... Holy shit, that went in quick. All right. Let's go ahead and dock the gurney up over here. I have a feeling this would be a little bit easier. Oh. Let's go ahead and move around here. And... Let's go ahead and slide you back in. No? What the fuck do I gotta do here? Gonna pull her out. Is this not the right spot? It looks looks good to me. Can't push it forward anymore. I gotta pull her by her hair. Or... It's open. Oh, this is slow. For as fast as he slid onto this fucking thing. No, I'm hitting W. There you go. Now I gotta close this one. Now can I pull her out? No. Okay. Now she comes out, and then, there we go. Oh, I gotta close it. I'm glad you got your bra on. I wanna get some sort of takedown, cause you're naked. All right. She got her foot all marked up. Did she die from a bite? All right. All right. I'm just finishing up something here. So why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? Inspect body for identifying marks. In Enter into computer. Mix embalming fluid and pump. Okay. Inspecting a body, however, the cursor over the body moles, scratches, bruises, and interact. Okay. Her knuckles look a little bruised up. Alright. But that's it. Okay. I know she's got a mark right here. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Window just closed on its own. It's great. Mark there. Okay. She's got something festering up by her eye, it looks like. Let's go check this out. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Okay. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. Yucky. That, we'll get started. All right, so smile abrasion. Apparently, that's all I need to look at. Let me get in here. Okay. Enter the cadaver information. Click the re Boy, record system. What was that? I didn't say anything. You all right? E yeah. Okay, so I'm fine. Sorry. So I'm gonna die here. All right. Well, back to it, I guess. Uh. Contusion, another abrasion. Okay. Record system. Head. Right shoulder. Contusion. Hermangenoma on the right leg. Nothing else. Submit. Oh. Yep. What did I miss? What did I miss? Name. Ah.
Okay. Cool. I'm the best mortuary assistant ever. Now we've got a print. Nice little printout package. File up front. Okay. I like my little footsteps I'm supposed to go through. It's daytime. I don't like that picture at all. Time to embalm. Oops. Did I? I hope I put it there. All right, whatever. Okay. All let's right. Mix up I've some embalming fluid. So you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. All right. Everything's on your list there if you need it. Wire jaw shut with needle, injector, and setting needles. All right. Uh, all right. Where is the needle and setting needles? That's setting needles. Okay. And where's my little needle? Those are eye caps. Let's go wire the mouth shut. I'm missing something. All right. We're going to go back over here. Needle injector. Okay. We're going to hammer set some needles into the jaw. Sounds great. Sounds like a real fun time. All right. Let's do it. Um, hello. Large items held in your hands. Small items kept in your pockets. Enter selecting an item description will appear below. Okay. Fast type. I'm going to drop that for right now. No, no, I'm not. Um, pick this up. Okay. Am I, am I doing this? Am I doing it wrong? Why is it not making you proud? Um. Oh. Cool. You gotta do this a few times, huh? Not nearly as hard in the lower jaw. Okay. There we go. Cool. All right. Insert eye caps. We can do that. Don't even gotta ask. We're adults. Okay. Use for holding eyelids shut. That's great. So, yeah, like I was saying before, okay, placing eye caps, use a manipulator, open the eyelid, completely interact with the eye, place the cap, then close the eye. Okay. Open it completely, eye cap. Why is it not closing? Okay. Eye cap. All right. Easy. All right, so I believe this is where we mix the embalming fluid. So we need glucoglutaraldehyde, methanol, humectant, formaldehyde. 
Okay. That's good. Hmm. Sometimes we get the chemicals fuck, that haven't been stored properly. And it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. Okay, I'm All trying. I can't hold anything else. Okay. Close. So I gotta go tab. I gotta drop that, I guess. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so that went in there. That went in there. Let's go mix this up. That's in there. And now that's in there. Fuck yeah, doggy. Okay, so now we need the tubing. The injecting cavity fluid needle. I'm assuming we're going to need that to jam it in there and get get her all nice and nice and juiced up. Let's see. Make an incision with in the cartered artery and jugular vein with scalpel. Use forceps to clamp tubing to both veins to connect embalming pump, engage pump, and let the embalming. Okay, so we are going to need this get up by the head there we go use an item open quick inventory and select the item needed okay so I'm missing something yes we are let me I'm glad I cut her throat open first yep artery forceps we'll need that Maybe. Okay. Artery forceps. PVC tubing. Fuck yeah, doggy. Now we're cooking with oil. Engage pump, let the body drain. Yuck. She was so full. Hey. Hey, wait a second. Nobody's supposed to be back here, sir. This is the business. All right. All right, she's all drained out. Pop all that out. Let's sew that up. Okay. Empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid. Then insert the trocar. Mix cleaner and bathroom closet to create tank cleaner. I know how to do poppers, okay? That was something out the window, right? Hey! Goddamn kids, you stay away! Need to fill up this cavity bag here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Got a good little little bit going in there. A little bit up in there. Ooh, that's, that was a hungry one. A little bit up in here. Yeah. This, this old lady was ripped. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh, yep, yep. Look over here. How's it going, bud? Dolph Lundgren in the house, everyone. Okay. Nothing in there. So now what do we got to do? 
Makes cleaners and bathroom closet. All right. I've seen the bathroom before. You get the fuck out of here. Okay. Flow cleaner. Okay, cool. Put some of that in there. I can't hold I can't hold anything else. Alright. Well. That's not it. Okay, well, then, uh, go ahead and drop the tank cleaner. I gotta hit tab, don't I? Drop. Okay. 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 Now let's drop that one. Drop. And then... These all seem to be the exact same thing. Oh, need to add descaler. All right. Now, now, what are we doing? Gotta drop this too. Okay. Now, where's my descaler? Where is it? Oop. Okay. Well, now we have a real problem. Where's the D scale? Oh, what the fuck was that? Did you guys see that? like a creepy way to give me chills need some coffee would you like some coffee all right well where the hell would the descaler be i can't pick that up let's turn the water on <clears throat> Turned off, whatever. So I mix the shit. I, I don't quite understand where the descaler is. But let's find the moisturizing wipes. Let's go wipe her fucking face. No? I mix the cleaners. I did it. What else do I have to do? What can I do? Corrosion and descaling agents. Okay. I can't hold anything else. God. I can't hold anything else. Only having two hands is such an imposition. Let's drop these over here then. Tab. There we go. Drop, tab, W. Okay. Walk forward, dummy. There That's we go. Not it. That's not it. Okay. Well then, why are we still holding it? Drop. Okay, that seems to be the exact same thing. That's not it. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop that. This has to be it, right? It's the only other thing we can grab. That's not it. Oh my god. Alright. Well. I can't use that here. I can't I can't use that here. I can't I can't you I can't use that here. I can't use I can't use I can't use that here. I can't I can't you I can't use that here. I can't use that here. Whatever, man. Just get more well noises. Alright. So what can I use here? 
what can I open here? Anything? Where's the other stuff to mix? Does that, like, go over to the back side of the... Do I have to get a tube? Mix cleaners and pour into the embalming pump. Oh, there's an embalming pump that I should have, maybe... Mm. All right. Do I have to carry the cleaners over here? Is that... Why did it tell me to mix them? Let's see. I'm going to pack this around. Don't you fucking freak me out, ghosts. Looked like it was raining for a second. It's definitely not. It's beautiful. Alright. Now can I wipe her fucking face? Let me go to the bathroom. I'm an idiot. Spent all that time in the bathroom doing that shit. Pick these up. Pick these up. Yes. Thank you. You've made... you made this much nicer for me. Can I wipe her face now? Okay. Hmm. Was that acid? The fuck? Why don't you go ahead and head out? The fuck was that? Over from here. Okay. Yes. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today. You want to make out a little bit, or this? Is this? No. This isn't what you want. All right. I put the moisturizer all over her facial features. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. I want to burn the body. All right, fine. I do offer cremation services, just so you know. We got a lighter, a bunch of sticks, a little bit of gasoline. All right. I did my first body, guys. I did it. We did it. Together. It was an amazing, an amazing it's body. It's just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It wasn't mm. even my fault. Kind of. But he it's kind of a big deal. Right after that. I'm just really worried. He's supposed to finalize my stuff today. You did wipe the I skin off her face. You would, right? yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait nope. a sec. I have All waiting. Flip. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. You. I wanted to apologize. I think you, you did. did a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. Oh, he's That's not uh, actually well. why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers. And no one else can make it in right now. Oh, Jesus. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. All right, Becky. Yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Stop feeling so sorry for ourselves. You're doing me a huge favor. All right. Cool. That's great. We got Thank this. Thank you. I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Let's go to high. Volumes on. Subtitles on. All right. I don't see any difference between high and ultra, Bye. except for it might stop that little Holy frame rate shit. drop. That was him. He signed me on. Yeah, let's he go, Becky. To tonight. <gasps> See? I told Get you up out of your fun. bed, you stupid fuck. Let's go. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Faux show. Right now. Uh, where are my keys? Right now. Let's get the fuck out of here. Death and decay, huh? Let's 
cool looking book. Alright. That's your shitty phone. And your shitty life is just a bunch of fashion design and Bauhaus. Oh, you wanted to be a fashion designer? Turn that off because Oh, we're not making coffee. Where's your keys? Where'd you put your keys, dummy? That was a weird noise. Yeah, this would probably look a lot cleaner in VR. Oh, there's a ghost moving my toothpaste all over. Okay. Can I burn the toothpaste? Maybe not. Can't go in my own bathroom. What if I had to poo? Okuos. Doesn't have any bees in it, but they keep putting it on the box. It's got bees in it. What? Alright. Drop that bitch. Are your keys in your fridge? Happy tofu. Mozzarella. Some milk. 2%. Wolfios. Wolfos. Is this for a dog? Do you have a dog? Can I pet your dog? I'd like to cook this coffee on the stove, please. Still haven't found your... There they are. We'll need those. Okay. Linens. More books. Oh no, that's a shirt. Music band shirt. Sports. I like your style. We're no billboard. We're no, yeah. We're, we are no billboard. That's the terms I was trying to use. Look at this fucking nerd. Just non-stop books. Shitty TV. Can we turn it on? Sorny. Sorny. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go fuck with some bodies. Alright. Let's get out of the car. There's no man. All right, I guess I'll head to the back and get started. Close the door behind you. You weren't raised in a barn. Fuck your coffee, bitch. Stop it. Why'd she gasp? The door's locked. Unlock the door. Hell. Hi, Rebecca. Mr. Delver. I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. Whoa. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? What's this, this man talking funny. about? Stop. Where's my personal drawer? Need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, yep, I he's can't right. I can't that. leave. I can't even go to the bathroom. Man, I got a shit, bro. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? Okay. We embalm, file the paperwork. Everything. Okay. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. Look at me. Do you think that this man tells you this? You don't just go beat feet out the fucking door. You like kick the goddamn door down. I, I'm, you know, that's easy for me to say. I'm a big guy. I just shoulder fuck that door and get the hell out of there. Anyway, Merry Christmas. 
Yeah, I see him. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? Yeah. This is insane. WTF, OMG. Okay. This is so stupid. It has my name on it. I'm trying to click on it. Pick it up. Old key. Hall key. Tape recorder. Do your job. Okay. I want to use the potty. Okay. Still me in there. Now I get to scare him. No, we'll leave that on. Hey, bro. Okay. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like this? Oh, no, let's... Look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. If this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe There's tapes all over the fucking place. What are these tapes about? The only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name. Bind it to its chosen body and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. That's yeah, really not. For you. I had years to learn what I know. So you have hours. I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will mm -hmm. help you mm -hmm. stay grounded. I was gonna Calling tell some personal ghost stories, but this game's a little too immersive. Can be uh but what Listen I will say tapes. is learn like my mom, name. her whole life has lived in haunted houses. Just told us some stories about it, but I, as a kid, we grew up. There was one place we lived where, as kids, me and my sister, we had, like, the upstairs. It's like, we moved back to central location uh, from where we were living. And we got a house for the first time in a while. And it had an upstairs that was, like, a finished attic. That was two rooms. And my sister had a room on one side of the stairs. I had a room on the other side of the stairs. Her room had a little, like, cut-out window in it that you could see the stairs through. And then you, from both rooms, could see the top of the stairs. When, I, I think I was like nine, she must have been ten. My cousins were staying over. We were on one side. Uh, my two boy cousins and then... My sister, one of my girl cousins, and her friend were all on the other side. Well, we heard footsteps coming up the stairs, right? And we weren't supposed to be awake. This is really late at night. We weren't supposed to be awake. This is an old house. So you could hear when people moved around. We thought our parents were asleep, so we were up there playing around, joking, laughing. We were like, shit, we're being too loud. They, they know we're up. They're going to come up here and fuck with us. Uh, so... We decided, let's all run, jump into bed. We hear the footsteps coming up. We know they're coming up. Probably going to get spanked. We all jump into our beds and, and floors. Because we had, you know, shit on the floors to sleep in. Um, and we wait. We hear the footsteps get to, like, the top of the stairwell. Never go down. Never move from there. They're just standing at the top of the stairwell. Well, we are like, that's fucked up. You know, I, I look at my cousin and I say, hey, look out. Look over there and see if uh, see if it's your dad or my mom. Because we knew that would be, or my dad. Uh, we knew those are the ones that would spank our asses if they knew we were awake. Because, I mean, it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. We should have been asleep. Um, and uh, my one cousin's like, no fucking way, man. No way. And then uh, my other cousin's like, I'll look, I'll look. Don't worry, I'll look. So he looks and he's like, there's there's nobody there. And we're all like, what? We heard him coming up. So we crawl over. And at the time I see my sister and my uh, other cousin and her friend all kind of looking too. And we're like, there's just nobody here. And so they come walking over. 
and it's pretty dark. Like you could you could still see because there's moonlight in through the window. You could still see there's nobody standing there. Like there's there's no human person standing at the top of the stairs where we heard the footsteps get to. So we turn on the light. I think my sister turned on her light in her room because it shined through the the little cutout that you could see the stairs on. And we all kind of inched closer and you could see like footprints just standing at the top of the stairs. It was weird. We're like, what the hell is this? What's going on? Um, well, my one cousin, he was like, I, this doesn't make any sense. You know, they, we were all kind of raised with some church background stuff. So we're like, it's a ghost. You know, this is, this is not possible, right? This isn't something that's real. So we are like, okay, somebody's got to touch this. Somebody's got to reach out and touch those footsteps. And I'm like, I'm not doing it. And so my older cousin, he said, I'll do it. And he touches it in his hand and just pulls his hand back. And it's like freezing cold to the touch. And we're like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know, we're freaking out, but we don't want to scream because we don't want to get in trouble. Because we're not even supposed to be up. Well, the next, like, two seconds, we're all just freaked the fuck out. We all just run and dive into our beds. And we hear... The footsteps turn around and start heading down the stairs away from us. So we all like kind of scurry back over there. And you can see the imprints of feet walking down the stairs. And I know that sounds insane. And I know I'm a kid at the time. So, you know, this is 20 some years ago. Uh, so maybe my memory is hazy of that. It's not. It truly is not. And I, I like... I feel like a crazy person even sharing these stories. Thankfully, I only have a couple of viewers right now. Um, but it's not crazy. Like, it's exactly as I remember. It's like plain as day in my head still. My sister has told the story too. And it's exactly the same. And there's like no, no real way to explain it away. In my in my mind, there's like no real way to explain away seeing footprints in this like shag carpet looking shit, you know. And then my cousin's reaction and his hand being like frozen, like ice cold, when he pulled it back. So needless to say, none of us really slept. We might have fallen asleep at like five six o'clock in the morning, and then we got up and went to school and never really talked about it. like me and my sister have talked about it, but we never really talked to. It. You know, because we had fallings out and all this shit. But yeah, that's one interesting story that I can tell right now. But let's get back to this. Let's get unpossessed. All right. One, night shift system. All right. The night shift database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all Whatever. the information Just on the process of exposure, and the get tools started. used, and most importantly, all the markings of the you known demonic Screw this. I'm calling the police. If you ever forget what to do, replay these tapes or look it up in the database. Shit, phone's dead. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. Collection of demonic my names. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. That's a stapler. Excuse me, you have my stapler. You know, give it back. I'm going to build the burden of building to the ground. Wait. Okay, apparently can't get that. Book of Typhoon, Typhon, six Typhon walked among his disciples and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe. For all are assigned to the halls of hell. Seven. Abandon God as he has abandoned you. Bring Lucifer into mm. Mm. Revel in his glory sin. All are damned. There is no hope of God. All are marked for the houses of hell as all are hopelessly lost. You have been left behind. And as he passed, one ran looked upon Typhon with disgust and said, I will not turn my eye from God. Satan has no dominion over the Lord's creation. 
Typhon looked onto Onren and said, Pray as you wish. Fall to your knees at this moment and call to God. Perhaps today he will step down from the heavens and all doubt shall vanish. Pray to nothing and behold the truth. I will take from your God's creation the ashes of man, for it burns eternal and sinful fire. Well, that's pretty heavy stuff for a goddamn video game. Typhon held the charred remains of Durad and walked among his disciples, spreading his ash upon their flesh, setting the reeds into his hands ablaze. He said unto, unto run, on ran, one ran, See now that all marked in the glory of Satan. See, there should be like quotations around there, right? One ran beheld a flash of light upon the skin of each disciple as Typhon passed, and from it he saw a mark burn deep into their flesh, one of three for the houses of hell, for we are all destined to serve his higher purpose. And Typhon extended the ashes of Durad to the hands of one ran and said, Bear the forgotten flesh upon your own, ignite its sin, and accept the true God. Well, that's some, uh, that's some real crazy stuff there, huh? All right. Forget it. Can't fuck with the computer, apparently. Turbo mode. Remember that? <laughs> I don't know if anybody is old enough to remember turbo modes. Okay, so that's three. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you the closer okay. you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing okay. the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble. Oh, a got my work badge. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Vicar Raymond asked me to take over restocking the rest of the supplies in the bombing room, but he's so secretive I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to. Could you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. It says, oh, Zoe. Okay. All right. Wait. Need those. Raven, I really need a key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low. You mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would wait, make things a lot easier for everyone. Zoe. Okay. Um, he said the access code would be in his personal drawer. Nothing I can mess with there. Apparently nothing I can mess with there either. Okay. Get that the hell out of here. Alright. So now what, man? Listen to those two tapes. Stop the turbo mode thing. Okay. That's locked. That's not it. Okay. Oh, hey. You screw all of whatever this is. <laughs> That's what I'd be. Okay, the access cards on the back of the name on his name tag. Alright, I'll have to check that out. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet. Six six one five. Okay, appreciate that, Dragon Lady. Shout out. Or 
extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. We be in fam for real. Pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the I feel like I should have paid a lot more attention to uh so look on walls under objects words. inside furniture anywhere okay the demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them so check regularly once you uncover the sigils use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with and use that knowledge to create the mark the steps are simple Okay. All right, don't need that right now, but nobody there. Where'd the little cart go? Oh, I gotta grab it from in here, that's right. No. Crummy old building. Yeah, it's definitely what it is. Lock me in here. Scare the shit out of me. Definitely a crummy old building. Nothing to do with uh insane dead people. I haven't. This is my first time actually playing it. So far, so good. No screams or jumps. Just a couple. All right, like, let's check you out. Let me go get my sweet, sweet notebook. Wait for identifying marks. Enter in the computer. Mix and popping. Okay. Nice to keep track of things. Okay. Nothing there. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I should have played it then, too. It probably Hello? would have been a little better experience. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Uh, we're not getting out of here. Let's take a look here. Okay. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. Uh, so stupid. Yeah, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah, this man's got a lot of stuff wrong with him. The mole. No. Nothing there. Okay. Yeah, I think V told me he had played it. Um, I hadn't really... I bought it a while back. I bought it in October because it was on sale. But I haven't actually had a chance to sit down and and play it. Alright, I think. I think that's it. Let's see. Alright. Okay. History of the Demonic. Night shift database. Path to banishment. Embalm each body with a special regent from the cabinet. Using letting strips from the cabinet to attempt to reveal the demonic sigils. Compare the found demonic sigils to the demon's name within the night shift database. Build the mark to match the demon's name. Pay attention to each body for demonic activity. Note that bringing an already embalmed body back out to reinspect changes may be necessary. Yeah, I... I sh that's something I should do. I'll probably play it again 
like a late night stream and do some actual like I don't think I have any good sound alerts that are actually like jump scare but uh just wanted to get through it a little bit and see and hopefully it's not exactly the same every time but I'll definitely I have the VR headset hooked up and ready to go I'm probably going to let my wife play through it on stream at night because she'd be like I don't react much to jump scares and stuff but I think she'd be a much better person to watch like totally freak out about the game Go ahead and open the door. Who's knocking? Hello? No? Nope. Not there either. Okay. Alright. Let's enter this into the computer. What is this? Deal with this. Age all over. Age through seven. Head. Blemishes. Left shoulder. Mole. Right arm contusion right leg mild abrasion left leg contusion submit okay so that's good there yeah it's, i didn't think i was hoping it would be different each time you need to file a copy up front yes i know we need to file the copy up front we're going to get Just walk out here. It's time to embalm. There we go. Mix embalming fluid. So let's wire the jaw shut. See what happens. Where's all my wiring stuff? There it is. Need some of that. And one of these. There we go. Eye cups, which weren't in here. Um, where's my eye cups at? Not there, not there, not there. Let's see. What is these? Apparently, it's not anything we need. Um, That's different fluid. It's moisturizing wipes. Not that. No. There we go. Eye caps, not eye cups. All right. Let's open. Pop. It's hard to work in the dark. All right. All right. Okay. So now we've got to get that closed up. Let's get one of these. One of these. Okay. And now, but first, we've got to fill it up with some of this. My humectant. There it is. A little bit of this stuff, right? Nope. Some of this formaldehyde, yep. Formaldehyde. Get some of this stuff here. 
Quit making so fucking much noise. Hey. Stop it. Stay in there till I'm ready. Ah. Jerk off. Close that door. There we go. Okay. Methanol. Go to hydrate. Um. Okay, it's not those. Not that. It's this. All right. Mix that in there, and then get some of this stuff. All right. E. E. Some regent. Now, let's go ahead and slit this throat. Place artery forceps. And then go get my tubing. And this thing here. Nope. 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 Where's the tubing at? That's moisturizing wipes. There. Nope, that's a flex bag. Don't need that yet. I could have swore I saw a tubing in here already. That's setting needles. Definitely not in these because I've already looked in these. There it is. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I was hold anything literally else. just here. Okay. So, drop that. I can't use that here. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to drop it. I forgot that I need to hit tab instead of right click. All right. Drop. There we go. Beautiful. Getting so loud. Okay. I'm missing something. Nope, not the drill car. Oh, I gotta start. No. I have the tubing. PVC tubing. I can't use that here. Okay. I can't use that here. Alright. Let's do this. So far, not a bad game. drained up. Now, remove tubes, close incision, simple. Close it up. There you go. You're all pretty now. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with cavity fluid. Okay. I can't use that here. Yes. Yes, you can. There we go. And then, boop. Get in there. Get her in there. A little on that side, a little there. This body seems to have like literally just turns the lights off, makes some noises. There we go. There you go. Haven't seen anything I can burn this letting strip on yet. Oh, hey. Why are you crying? Why are you crying, buddy?
I gotta go look in the fucking mirror, don't I? Oh, hey, how's it going? What's going on? Small photo, 1970, year arrival of the house of death, the birth of its creator, the full number shall be six. The full number shall be six. Okay. Oh, you have to burn it while walking around. That makes more sense than I see something and then burn it. Your arrival of the house of death, the birth of its creator, the full number will be six. Cool. Okay. Oh, you left. What a jerk. Okay. Okay. Now we've mixed that, right? Am I going to be able to open this? Yep, okay. Flush the tank. Alright, so let's try burning this here. Yeah. Ow. I didn't find anything. Should probably do it around the body. Do I have a... Like... I only have so many of these, I think. Could just go out the window. I don't have to be scared all the time. I'm missing something. Well, yeah, you need the facial cleanser, moisturizing wipes. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get this side. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right, that one's all done. Go ahead and open both doors. Since I'm kind of a crazy person. Alright. Back her on up. Just like truck driving simulator. Oh. So right over when I open that drawer, I should check that drawer. Because that's where it burnt up at. check that drawer before I pull the next body out. <laughs> Stop laughing and crying. It's got to be somewhere. Because it literally like burnt right around here. I go up around. Let's see. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Wait. Back. Check the symbols on the computer. Um. <laughs> it's cool that it's got like... Okay. Desolation, invidious, modulation. So let's go take a look at our symbol again. Got a little eight on it. Got supplies. Yes. yes. Hello. All right. Leave us alone then. Okay. So we've got kind of a diamond shape here. Let's see. More of a desolation kind of theme here. What's this stuff tell us? That's exactly where I was already. Okay. Identifying demonic tendency. Okay. 
Might have to pull that body back out. Give it a check. Alright. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. It appears to be working. Oh, hey. So, uh, I guess, um, this is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but... What you got going on? Oh, he moved his tootsies. There it is. Fuck. Oh. Fuck! This man's scared for his life. Alright. Let's check these tools of expulsion. Yeah, I already let use that. So we'll use that. You see this symbol? Yeah, I got that symbol. Special pages of scripture marked with calling symbols. So, that symbol we got corresponds to the name of the demon. Okay. So, I think that's what we're doing. What are these? Those are nothing. All right. Now, let's see. Oh, hey. Samara. Look. I'm working here. Bitch. Okay. Let's go ahead and go with this one since he was knocking so hard. He obviously wants to have a little fun. Okay. Do it. Oh, that's the wrong one. Right there. Right. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and pull him out. Got to remember next time to do the gurney first. All right. Come on into my room of horrors. Go ahead and grab our clipboard. Oh, I already have another clipboard. Okay. Tony Pizza. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck kind of name is Tony? He ate too much pizza. Like me. Tony Pizza, 41. All right. Let's check your legs and arms and such. Rotate. Nothing. Back. Nothing on this footsie. Let's go over here. Check this footsie. Yuck. Okay. Check under this arm. You got some stinky shit going on there. Nothing here that I see. Check here. That's gross. Nothing there. Take a look at the head. Yeah, we got claw marks on the one side. Yep, check that. Let's go look at his tit. Some gross shit coming off his tit. Yucky. Alright, got that all marked up, Mr. Pizza. Now let's go enter that into our record system. Entry 2, pizza, age 41, head, mild abrasion. Uh, left shoulder, we got a hemingenia... Hemangioma. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's the term. Uh, right arm. Blemishes. Right leg. A mole. Moly, moly, moly. Alright. Get that printed out here. Stupid Santa sitting here watching this whole thing. Santa, Satan. Same letters, same name. It's the same person. We know we need to file that up front. Ridiculous that you think we don't. Alright. Let's 
go ahead and file the embalming report. Probably burn another parchment here. <clears throat> Oops. Think, keep thinking it's like phasmophobia where you have to actually do the, uh, like, pull the door. Yeah. Hammer down. Crack. Crack. Pop. 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 Close. Close. There we go. There we go. All right. Now it's mixing. Oh, oh, it's not mixing time. Oh, eye caps. Yeah, that's right. Those were not that drawer, that drawer, right? Okay. Treating this like any other job. Cap. Cap. Night, night. All right. You ever go night, night? Yep. You definitely did that time. Okay, let's mix. No, we don't need this. That's right. We need this. Okay, we need some of this. Oh, damn it, I didn't pick it up. E to pick it up. We need this. And then we need where did that other stuff go. This. Yep. Okay. Now we got it all mixed up. Need to get a tin blade out. Some forceps. And tubing. Where's our tubing? It's down here. Hell yeah. All right. I'd like to cut into your neck, please. Am I missing a step? Oh, Regent. That is correct. Okay. I can't hold anything else. Oh, my God. You stay on, Lamp. Okay. So tab. Let's go ahead and drop this PVC tubing. Tab out of there. Go back. Regent. E. Pick it up. Let's go dump that in. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful job, Becca. We do good work for this doctor. I don't think he appreciates us, man. something uh forceps there we go heck let's go ahead and get you pumped full up while we're doing that go ahead and take one of these i already have one of those oh yeah you're right Ah, fuck, bitch. Oh, shit. That actually scared me. <laughs> Why's the light off? Horse shit. Where's it burning at? Where'd it go? Phew. Okay. I don't see it on the door there. Let's play some music. Is it on the floor somewhere? The desk. Table. Yep, there it is. 
Is that FaZe Clan? Bitch, are you part of the FaZe Clan? Nope. There we go. All right. Let's see. Where's my FaZe Clan? There. Back. All right. Let's check how far into position I've gotten. No? Okay. Uh, tab. Got the three tapes. Okay. Well, I don't know what that means. I wasn't paying attention. I was never good at it. Let's go ahead and pull this shit. Close that up. Back up. Okay. Now we need to fill an empty IV reservoir bag. That's moisturizing wipe. Where are those reservoir bags? They're over here. Yep, okay. Take that. Yeah, that lady standing there actually freaked me out. That's abnormal I'm for me. Something. Oh. You're just going to pump your stomach full of something, Mr. Pizza. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> just a... Hey! Get the fuck out of here. Um. Okay. Oh, hi. That's a pretty neat trick. Oh, I can't move. Oh, it's because I was pushing R. You have to push W. What you doing there? It's like the cell Jennifer Lopez. Some blood. What are you doing here? Mr. Pizza? Why was I in the bathroom? Okay. Just get back to doing your job. God. Not even going to get a check. There we go. Oh, what the fuck's happening to my FPS right now? Hold on. For some reason, if I have the game and only the game pulled up. Okay. Then I have frame rate lags. Which we don't want happening. Okay. So now, mix cleaner in the bathroom. Can I leave? Oh, I can get outside now. Haha, uh -huh, dummy. No, get in the car. Well, I guess we got paid to do the job. We're doing the job. I want to light this. You want this, demon? Okay. Go ahead and go get her. Hey, buddy. We're going to go ahead and fill this up with some tank cleaner. And while we're at her, we're going to burn another one of these things. Okay. Since we got one in here, we'll see what happens. Oh, hey. Hey. What the fuck? Nothing smoking in here.
Oh, here we go. <laughs> Sounded like it was over here. It was on the door. Above the door. Ah, there it is. G fuel. Hell yeah. Demons. Demons a hype beast. Figure out what the fuck's going on here. It's bothering me. Okay. Alright. GPU, CPU, for some reason, is being extremely taxed. It's not even using much. Like, my GPU is only at like 80%. Whatever. It's working fine. It's just annoying that. Alright. Where's my G fuel? There it is. There we go. Let's take Mark. What's that mean? Alright. Now apply moisturizer, moisturizing wipe, and yeah, you like right. that. Okay. Yeah, I saw you back there, bitch. Stay away from me. Let me do my work. bad boy in okay no one's in here ah Santa Claus am I gonna have to look for more marks oh yeah I should probably pull you out but whatever there you are let's go ahead and leave that there Close that. Okay. Yeah, I hear you talking. Am I going insane now? Is that what it is? Anubis Day, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the the dancing. What is that? Looks like a Pokemon, but I'm not well versed in Pokemon. Okay, going down the dark hallway because that bitch turned off the lights. This demon is a real asshole. Oh, buddy. Santa Claus. It is actually Santa Claus. And he's only 30 years old. Where's the light switch in this bitch? don't know because I didn't turn it off. Is it on the outside wall? Yeah, they did. Santa Claus update. Christmas time. I didn't know. This is the first time I've ever played it. But I'm assuming that had to be just for Christmas. There's the light switch. Okay. All right. Well, let's, uh, hey, leave my doors alone. I do want that closed, though. All right, let's investigate. Mark that. Let's check his back. Oh, big old fat back. All right. Just like me. Thanks for coming in, watching. This is kind of a, it's a creepy game to be playing at 1 p.m. Should have. Probably done it later. Became a baddie. Hey, I appreciate the follow. Thank you for becoming a baddie. It's awesome. All right, let's rotate it back around. This man was 
obviously an alcoholic. I don't know what keeps disconnecting. That's my headset. I shouldn't be playing this in VR. I should have just did it. Nothing on this side of the back. Or chest. He got his sweet ass chonies on. All right. Stinky foot fungus. There we go. All right. Says he's 30 years old. That's hilarious. All right. Saint Satan Klaus. Age 30. Head has a mild abrasion. Right shoulder has a rash. Right leg has a rash. That's all winter stuff, I'm sure. Oh. I'll give you a follow back as soon as I'm done with this. Get this here. Carry it out to the front. I'll have to burn another parchment to get that last part. Okay. All right, Santa. Let's see if uh, see if we can find any anything else around here. I usually wait until I start the embalming process, but it's probably not going to be in here because I just burned one in here. Might even be outside. Who knows? Oh, hi. Hello? Speak to me, Goose. Hello? Why are you still doing this? I'm going to kill you, Rebecca. Alright. I guess we're going to die. That's, that's fine. Me and Becky, we're here. We can die. It's fine. Okay. Oh. Can't do that yet. I have to do the... This this get mouth set sorry Santa I'm so sorry but why'd you die at 30 it's kind of weird I mean I can see why but here, Rebecca. yeah Rebecca, come down here. I don't know about this we're going Rebecca's never been that smart. Ah, shit. Do I got a duck? Yeah, I got a duck. So, little Raymond thinks he found oh, hey. a replacement. Another sacrifice to save his duck again. I can move their jaws. Seems unimportant. So that has a seven on its head. That has no mark. That has a circle in the fourth place. It's a zero. So zero in the fourth place. Nothing that I see here. Um, where's that one with the seven? Seven in third place. Oh. Okay. Oh, you've played this before? I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. So zero. Okay. The kneeling one's mouth. I already did this one. That kneeling one right there. Okay. So, four in the last place. So we've got a seven here, a zero here, and a four there. Okay. Is it this one, maybe? And a four there. Okay. Should I be taking notes here? One, 
one something seven one something zero seven four four Oh fuck <laughs> Okay Oh there's a key Thank you <laughs> That freaked me out <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna lie Usually I don't get like jump scared but that, that I, there's a person standing there hold on is that yeah they're breathing too okay well let's just pretend where'd you go okay so it's one you go back here so it's zero seven four four is the last ones one is the first one 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 something Zero seven four four. One something zero seven four four. You had nothing. Or no, seven. Okay. Closing them out. Close them out now. Okay, seven zero four four. One seven zero four four. I gotta figure out what the second number is, I guess. One something seven zero four four. Okay, I know I've looked at all all those mouths now. One something Zero seven four seven zero four four. I keep saying it wrong, it's gonna fuck me up later. One something seven zero four four. Okay. Yeah, that's true. And since this is my first playthrough and we're closing in on closing in on two hours, I might just do that. Oh hey. Wait, that's a doctor, isn't it? What the fuck are you doing here? David Whitlow. Dead and forgotten. Oh well, alright. I'll hop in. <laughs> it's a couple little jump scares so far. There's a lady in the hallway that freaked me out. Sorry. Hey, get the fuck out of here! You can't just bury me, bro. That you're a terrible boss. That's a horrible boss. Man, just I'm burying you. <laughs> No, Brennan, I'm alive. Ah, oh, zombie! <laughs> uh, Step brothers. Okay, we don't want to go back through there. Let's go ahead and uh, head back to the front dish. I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Oh, there's my car. See, this is the dumb thing. Why can't I just leave? If you want to leave, leave. Fine. Can't leave. Does it? I, I probably won't play until then. I'm going to do it another time later. Like, actual try to get scared at night. Probably this weekend sometime. Because, I mean, during the day, it's not that bad. Okay. Got my fourth mark. That's cool. I can't hold anything else. I can't hold anything else. Oh my god. Drop. All right. Got the mark. Okay. Tree. Submitted this already. Let's go here. 
we know about the letting parchment. Oh. I have to put them in order? Okay. Oh, okay. Find the order on the computer. I imagine it's in this one. In any of the houses? Okay, so I've got... I know I have this mark... I know I have this mark and the FaZe Clan mark, so it's not this one. Okay. Back. So I've got those two, this one, and this one. Okay, so it's Azel. Alright. So, mental note. FaZe Clan, bottom, G, left, the... I don't know what that is. And T house top. Okay. Hey. Hey. We're fucking around. All right. How do I move them? Because this needs to be up here. So I still, this needs to be, I need to swap the top. Oh, okay. Okay. So I take this and then I can just drop it. I can't drop it. Okay. Put a new one. Okay. Oh, okay. Grab a new one, switch it out. That makes sense. All right. So now I can switch this one with this one, this one with this one, this one with this one, and this one here. I believe that is the way. Okay. Let me double check. T on top, phase on bottom, that on right, this on that. I don't know if that was in my house I just heard that or if that was in the game. But it looks correct. Turn back around. Let me try scribbling. I might be going a little crazy here. Okay, T house, phase, G, that. T house, phase, G, that. All right. Now I've got that. And I have to put that on a body, right? Like, I have to identify the correct body. Okay, come on in. Okay, come in. Come in, you can help me figure this out. Why are you just chilling? Get the... Fine. You're not going to help me. Get the fuck out of here, Grandma. I'm going to clam dip you. Becca doesn't love you. You look like Sarah Connor. I bet it's cold. Okay. Oh, no. I just to visit you. Oh, what's up, Grandma? I tried to let you in. I bought you something. Oh, it's a knife. I can I use that for skin and game. Slit your wrist for me. Oh, I don't know. Just a little cut. I don't know about all that. That's kind of not nice, Grandma. Is the knife still there? I'm probably going to do it. Let's do this. Easy way out time. Okay, knife's not still there anymore. Alright, should I finish embalming Santa so I can put him back in the freezer? 
I do have to enter the numbers. Where do I enter the numbers at? One blank. Seven blank. Is that in here? Yeah. Okay. No, that's where I just was. So, oh, those numbers mean nothing. The seven zero four one blank seven zero four four that were on the people's heads. Okay. Well, I'll finish embalming Santa real quick. Because why not? Okay. Me finish closing his jaw up. There we go. Go get the eye caps. Oops. Bottom drawer, eye caps. Close that cuz I'm not a fiend. Okay, open. Oh, beautiful blue eyes, Santa. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you died like this. Probably my fault. All right. So now we need to mix the embalming fluid. Pop. This goes in. Can't hold anything else. Can't hold anything else. Oh, I gotta drop the damn sigil. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's my cat. Keanu, you freaked me out. Hold on. I'll let you outside in a little bit. Okay. Put the mark back up there. So I can mix my embalming fluid. Are you looking for real ghost stories? Okay. So I told one earlier about when I was a kid and uh, we moved into the first house we had lived in in a while because we were essentially homeless there for a while. We were living in other people's houses and a tent for a little bit. Um, but there's another one. When I was 18 years old, my parents and my aunt decided they were going to buy a house together and move in together in town and they ended up getting the chance to own a historic home here in my town uh, it was built in 1912 and the the price for it was pretty low like it it was a three level house um it had a a top story which had three rooms, a bathroom, and like a half kitchen in it. And then the middle story had a humongous living room, a huge kitchen, and then a bedroom with a sitting room that was my grandmother's. Uh, when Because she had to move in with all of us because my grandfather had died recently. And then it had a basement with two finished... Um, yeah, there's no more Christmas. Sorry, theater. But the, uh, the basement had two finished apartments in it. So there was a, a tenant in the front apartment that they were taking on. Um, and then the back apartment was going to be my mom and dad's. They were going to live there. So it's my aunt on the top floor, her and her husband. Uh, one of their kids or two of their kids in the other two rooms with one with his wife and, and kids and stuff. There's a lot of people living there at one time. So, but it was a huge house. Nobody really ever bumped into each other. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, so when we first got the keys to the house and stuff, that the tenant that was in the front came up to introduce himself and he told everybody, hey, you know, you just got to be careful because at night there are people that walk around here and we were thinking because at that part of town the historic part of town there's a lot of drug addicts and stuff uh and and people that try to break into your cars and break into your house it, it happens uh, most towns are like that bigger towns and so we're like okay you know and he's like no i'm not not talking about that growing up i lived in a historical home it was it was a notorious theater where Roosevelt and the Rough Riders staying and setting up a home for him, which was so bad that we had to 
board up large sections of the home because of the vile things that could be seen in them. Yeah, no, that's... See, I live on the West Coast. We didn't... There's not a lot of, like, plantation homes or anything like this, but this this house that my aunt was buying, um, it had, a, like, a real weird backstory to it. So there, the owner, the, the person who commissioned that it be built, he owned the house next to it, he built it for his daughter who was supposed to marry one man and ended up marrying a different man, but they never ended up living there. So when we, when my aunt bought the house, it was supposedly built in 1912, but there was no record. Like it, there were, there was a record of the home being there prior to that. So there was some weird story but the the lady that was supposed to live there, her name was Sloan, and the man that she ended up marrying, his name was Michael. So we found this out going to the, the library after some weird stuff started happening. So we all were living there. I moved in later because um, I was living about 100 miles away, and I decided to move back. We got in a, a car wreck, and so I moved back to uh, live with my parents there well eventually the man that lived in the front of the house he was doing crazy stuff um so my aunt had to evict him and my parents ended up taking that front apartment because it was a nicer apartment and but in the meantime my grandmother kept saying she kept seeing a little girl coming into her room and she you know we were like okay well it might be my cousin's daughter who who would stay there every now and then but she said no she wasn't here and still the little girl kept coming into the sitting room which was across from her bed so she could see it well we were all like oh it's kind of weird you know and i i was up late i worked graveyards at a food cannery here in town and so i was up late on my computer most of the time this is like 2004 so really i was probably downloading music from limewire or something uh, making videos and things like that. And I would hear footsteps running around upstairs. And I just always thought, you know, Hey, there's people that live right above us. My aunt, her kids, all of them, they could be up. Um, and they were, you know, kind of night owls too. So I, I didn't really think anything of it until my grandmother started saying, you know, she keeps seeing this little girl. And so one night I was sitting there on the computer uh, photoshopping some picture. I was, uh, like doing some editing of pictures for somebody. And I heard like kids singing like some school song, you know, not, not wheels on the bus, but something similar, like to that tune. It had like a, a children's song tune and it sounded like children singing it, but it was in like German or some barbarian language. And, uh, it's like, it's weird. You know, I, I don't speak this language. I, it's not English, but it sounds like Slavic, you know, somewhere in there. And, uh, so I, I was like, fuck this. I'm just going to go to bed. And, uh, I went and laid down, fell asleep. The next day, my grandmother had like a red mark on this part of her face. And she said, you know, the little girl slapped me and we're like, Okay, you know, that's a bit much, right? Uh, Grandma, I, I, you probably had a bad dream. Maybe you, you know, hit yourself, something. Uh, but we always, and my grandmother's room was right off the kitchen. The sitting room was right off the kitchen, and her bedroom was, like, right off the sitting room. And we'd always sit in the kitchen combined dining room, which had a table there, and play Yahtzee. And... In my head, I didn't believe, you know, even though I had seen creepy stuff all throughout growing up as a kid, I just always told myself, well, there's got to be some explanation for it. There's always an explanation scientifically for this stuff. Um, but we'd, we'd sit at the table, my mom, my grandmother, my aunt, my cousin and I, we'd all play Yahtzee. And while we're playing Yahtzee, I kept seeing this like little flash of white moving in and out of my grandmother's sitting room and it's like what the hell is going on i i don't 
you know, I, and so I sat there and just watched for it. I didn't tell anybody what was going on. And it was just so fast, like this little, but it, it looked like legs, arms, like a kid walking in and out. And so I sat and watched and I saw it come in and out. And it's so fast. And in my head, I'm like, whatever this, you know, this can't be real. Um, but my cousin who was sitting next to me is like, did you, did you see that? And I said, see what? And she's like, that looked like a kid just poked into grandma's sitting room. And I was like, okay, two of us seeing it, it's probably a problem. My grandmother went, yeah, it's a little girl. She's always in there. She's always coming in and out of there. Well, my cousin and his kids were living there. And his kids would be upstairs, his youngest boy and then my other cousin's daughter who came and stayed who we thought was the little girl my grandmother was talking about um they would be playing upstairs the the third story they'd be playing up there and then we'd hear them when they were by themselves just talking talking for a while and my cousin went up and he said hey bud you know who you talking to and he said the big man big big man what are you talking about a big like i was the biggest person there and um so he's like are you talking about ronnie and they're like no no the big man you guys you guys don't know him and we're like what the fuck is going on so uh my other cousin's daughter when she was doing it she said she was talking to somebody named mike salome and we were thinking you know, it must be from like Monsters Inc. because that was her favorite movie back then. Uh, there's Mike Wazowski, so we're thinking maybe she was trying to say Wazowski. She had a little problem talking a little bit back then, but she said Mike Salome, and we're like, okay, that's crazy. And she's like, he's a big, he's a big scary guy, and I'm like, okay. Uh, and she goes, but he doesn't like the the great grandma. And neither does the girl. And we were like pissing ourselves at this point. We're like, what the fuck are you talking about? What little girl? And she's like, the little girl that scrapped, that slapped the great grandma. And we went, okay, well, we got to look into this. So we went to the library and that's when we found out the original owner's names were Mike and Salone. And we're like, that's fucked up. How could this, you know, she was like four at the time. How could she know those names? Nobody knew those names. We didn't know. Like, it wasn't in the the purchase agreement or anything that my aunt had signed that I know of. Um, so we just kind of, we kept living there for another few months. Or I did, anyway. I kept living there for another few months. And I came home one day. And I was taking, like, the laundry room was in the basement right next to the apartment I was staying in. And so I went and put my like soaking wet from sweat clothes in the laundry basket. And I was just headed into my apartment to lay down and go to sleep. And I saw this like dude that was like my size, but he definitely wasn't from the two thousands. He looked like somebody from the 1920s, somewhere in that era, but I couldn't make out anything on his face. And I was just so tired. I was like, fuck this. And I just, Walked right past him, went to bed, um, and then the next day, my dad, who is a Marine, who does not believe in this shit, for the longest time, he was, he told my mom, she's crazy, you know, the, the kids don't, they're not actually seeing this stuff, it's, it's not real. My mom and my dad were leaving, and my dad said, well, wait for Ronnie, um, I, maybe he, he probably wants to come with us, because they were going to the restaurant. And my mom said, he's at work right now. And I guess my dad just got super pale, according to him. You know, he was freaked out because there was a man that looked like me standing down in the basement apartment that I would usually be in. And my mom said he just like clammed up. He didn't want to talk about it. He just got super pale. And they went to, to breakfast. And there was a whole bunch of stuff that happened in that place. People hearing... I think I might still have the recordings of us, the top floor kitchen. It was like a half kitchen. There was always grocery bags, plastic grocery bags in that kitchen. Um, and my cousins and I, we'd all went to go watch a movie and we came back and 
we noticed the light was still on up there and they're like hey come up here come up here bring your yeah bring <laughs> bring your camcorder and so i brought my i had a sony eight millimeter like camera with the ir it had the ir night vision on it uh it wasn't great night vision but it was decent enough to pick it up they're like bring bring that upstairs because something's going on in the kitchen and i went okay so i head up get my or i went downstairs grab my camcorder i head up and i am filming in the kitchen and my aunt is like there's the grocery bags are just flying all over the place and so i start filming and there's a couple you can see them just kind of moving and i i watched the tape probably 10 years ago now and it's not great because the infrared night vision wasn't good but uh when we turn the lights on you can actually still see bags just being thrown about in there and i'm gonna try to find the tape i'm gonna try to find because we used to record a lot of this stuff i'm gonna try to find some of that shit and actually play it one day on stream for everybody um to come in and check it out that'll be later on down the road because i'll have to transfer it over digitally and put it on the computer and stuff but yeah we, i have stories on stories on stories of this shit even the house that we live in right now has had some creepy stuff happen i think i played it when i was uh doing phasmophobia i have a couple of video files that are like eh, it could be couldn't be you know i don't want to say it is so but yeah another stream i'll go through that definitely definitely try to you know let people explain what they think it is and we'll go through it and evaluate it but i i plan on doing that as soon as i can actually find the camcorder and my i had a, a roxio like transfer card that i've got to get back and plugged in but yeah i'm gonna get back to the game for right now it's kind of creepy walking down memory lane remembering like seeing that shit and just feeling the emotion all right where was i okay i already did that part let's go grab this stuff here okay put that in there what else do i need glutamine will hide is that this one no it's methanol that's formaldehyde. That's a bleaching agent. Don't need that. Is it this bad boy? Oh, that's a humectant. Oh, it's this one. Yep, okay. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Like, everybody that was in that house and like my grandmother's still alive she's still with us thank god to this day and she can definitely continue like i mean she still remembers it fairly well so and then my aunt and all my cousins and i think might have might still have the stuff from um i'm missing something oh shit i need scalpel right Oh no, I need the uh, sutures. That's what I need. There we go. Entire neighborhood built around it. See things daily, particularly older woman dressed in Victorian garb and glare at people as they walk by in broad daylight. And, you know, there's lots of stories like that. And it's, it's weird because I spent most of my life... Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I spent most of my life... Like trying to uh, to talk myself out of believing in the shit that I saw as a kid and all the stuff that I've seen even recently. And it hasn't worked at all. <laughs> so I'm still kind of on the fence, even though I shouldn't be on the fence. What am I supposed to be doing? I gotta figure out which one of these people to burn. Right? So what do I do with this mark? Let's see. I, I really wasn't paying attention enough. Okay. 
Okay. So I gotta use the mark to uncover the demon's name. Uncovering the demon's name. Evocation can only be completed once the demon is inscribed four signals of the world. They're hidden from us until revealed by burning a letting parts from one four signals of the discovered name. Okay. So I've done that, right? That was the invidious Azel. Now what do I do with that information? Azel. Place the mark. The mark must have the correct demonic name and the mark must be placed on the correct body and burned. Below are the tools I'm aware of in usage. So now I've got to pull bodies back out to see if they've changed somehow. Right? Okay. And then... Dude, stop turning the light off. Hard to find. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm missing something. Oh yeah, I've got to go mix up the fucking stuff. Right where the door just closed. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I threw the menorah in there. <laughs> Alright. I can't hold anything else. Oh my god, I gotta drop the Alright, I gotta go put the mark back. I don't know why I keep taking it down like I know what I'm doing with it already. I gotta put it back on the body. Okay. Alright. Let's go do this. Who are you? Okay. Alright. I can't use that here. Okay. Why can't I use that here? I already have one of those. I already okay. have one of those. It won't work. Yep. Okay. Doing something wrong. It's for, for. Oh, yeah. Got to fill an empty IV bag. Shit. Let's go drop this back in here. All right. Now, let's see. Santa. Oh, thick thighs save lives, bro. Actually, hey, this looks like if I were dead on a board right now. Except for I'm not that white. Alright. Um. Stop it. Trying to do a medical procedure here. There it is. Yep. Go ahead and fill that baddie up. Get them all pumped full of this here. Reapply. Hit my vape. Also, I'm way older than 30. I don't have that white beard. Not way older. But haven't hit white beard yet. I've got yeah. some grays in there. All right, sir. You're all juiced up. Got oh, fucking light. Again. So I keep hitting E instead of W to walk. I kind of think it's going to be Santa. But it probably won't be. Let's see. Now we do the cleaner stuff. Okay. Pick it up. There we go. We need to do this. Cleaner base. 
Now we've got our cleaner fluid. Yeah. Since you won't just go to your damn car and leave. Put that tank cleaner in there. And then we got to apply moisturizer to facial features. Hell yeah. Let me clean your face off there, Santa. You beautiful bastard. Why couldn't it have been Rudolph? Let me get you all juiced up all right. here. There we go. Just rub them down with the grease. Okay. Let's look up. And now, S key all the way back. Did this door close again? No. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hey, let's turn the light on. Rude. Where's my light at? Is it on this door? No, it's not on that side. It's not on that side either. No, it's around here somewhere. There it is. Good lord. Okay. We might have to examine the other bodies again. Not might. We are going to have to examine the other bodies again. Okay. You want to come back out, bud? Go have a play date? Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. Got to pull them out. You and Santa Claus. All right. I know it's it's probably not Santa. All right. Okay. Just come look at you. Oh, you're all cut up. That's different. Let's take a look at you here. Alright, what are those symbols meaning? Hey, shut up! You're being rude! So are you, stop it! By the way, it's definitely this guy. Pretty sure. Worst experience I had was around 2015. Let's switch over to this one here. I don't know why it's not showing my chat here, but... Let's see. I'll read it. Worst experience I had was around 2015. Addict was at some point renovated into a living space before our family purchased a home and was the most active space in the entire home my eldest brother chose and this is anubis days stuff that this is her story i'm reading right now my eldest brother chose to live up there despite the insanity of what happened up there regularly there was a particular night i remember fondly because we were smoking and playing skyrim on the xbox 360 the living space was at an L shape with a bathroom that was boarded off <clears throat> for it being the worst area to be in. I remember I was making a long walk from White Run to Marquette with everyone I own in the game because real men only make one trip. Fuck yeah. I remember the TV suddenly losing sound. My attention being drawn to the door as I watched this horrifyingly tall person creature duck under the door and stand straight where the door reached only its sternum. After freaking out, my brother and I frantically looked around for it and only found a pair of red eyes staring at us from the far corner of the roof. Damn. Yeah, that would be that would be intense. <laughs> be a bit much. Especially if you're smoking. That's uh depending on what you were smoking. That would have been a fucking heart attack for me. I would have freaked out. I actually I I don't know. If I was if I was lit up a little bit i think i'd probably be a little calmer than the normal 
but yeah, that's that's a lot. That is a good story, though. Shit, yeah. That would be freaky for just about anybody who ran into it. Let's go look up and see what these demon ass marks mean. I'm going to grab the mark, and I'm just going to take a shot at it. Because it seems right. Or should I go look at this guy? Let's go take a look at this other one. Not in there. I'm dumb. Not Santa. It was this fellow. Do you have marks all over you too? He does not. All right, we're burning Santa, or not Santa. We're burning Mr. Pizza's body. <laughs> Jesus, you're seven foot tall. Good lord. Are you a basketball player? I bet you get asked that every single time. Hey, stop laughing, Mr. Pizza. I'm very sure it's the right one. You're a liar. Don't be a liar. Lying is bad and cool. Alright, let's burn this man. Time to cook a pizza. Yeah, that can happen <laughs> I you know I'm only I'm six two maybe six three on a good day but uh -oh. fuck yeah bro mr. pizza hell yeah Rebecca's gonna be okay yeah I love basketball I love football did I not burn you good enough? What the hell's coming on? Yeah, get out of here, bitch. I think we did it. Is it over? It's never over. I fucking quit. But you survived. Fuck yeah, I did. Once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. Now on, there is always a chance this will happen again, no matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. I mean, what do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. I've spent years learning everything I can to keep these entities at bay. It's the only thing we can do. So what? You're waging some selfless, holy war? It's not a war. It's survival. And I'd hardly call but it yeah, I was clumsy as hell growing up, especially. I'm still clumsy, but now I don't get around so well. So, like, I broke my back a while back, and uh, ever since, my walking's been terrible. But back in the day, I was pretty clumsy. I bumped my head into everything. I'd fucking broken so many toes just... Like it's everyone else. it's a problem. When I first experienced this, I had to make a choice. I could run and spend the rest of my days in fear, or I could learn to face it and keep some semblance of a normal life. Normal, right, bro? It's not a life I That was pretty to normal. It was okay. But choosing between a life of fear or control. You're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. 
Fuck yeah, fuck John. I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. See, but through I'm glad I made affiliate unbreakable. a little bit ago, like I'm a week ago now. Because before I wouldn't have played this game because I didn't think I'd get enough viewers to like help me build to affiliate. But now that I, I got that affiliate shit out of the way, I can stream whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want. And be perfectly cool. Alright. So shift has ended. We did pretty good for first try, thanks to Anubis and thanks to uh, Dragon Lady. For helping me out. I'm going to throw a shout out. To Anubis in here. Exactly. Yeah. I, I really. Really like. Just being able to stream whatever I can. And I, oh while I'm at it. Let me go ahead and throw a follow your way too. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm going to end the stream here in a minute. But for right now, I am, I'll show you. I've got a couple of videos on, saved on my computer. So the house that we live in now, I'm going to go ahead and turn the desktop audio off. The house that we live in now, since I said I'd tell some more real ghost stories, is, you know, it's, I think it was built in the 80s, 70s or 80s. And, um, We've been living here before the us. The man that lived here was an older man. He was in his seventies. My he met my sister. My sister helped take care of him until he died, and he left the house to her. Um, which you know, there he didn't have family. His wife had actually uh, committed suicide in this home. You know, there's there's a lot of things background with that where they were hearing things and she was hearing things and had potential mental illness and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's just to get an exp explanation. And so we have surveillance cameras like in the home and on the outside, because we had to hire a second person to be 24 hour in home care for the man that lived here before. And, um, but in that time, like, there was a lot of stuff going on in this house. The person that was living in here 24-7 doing in-home care, you know, you'd hear people talking. You, um, every now and then, down my hallway, you'll see a little shadow that is like a humanoid figure walking. And it's, it's freaky at first, but once you've lived here long enough, you kind of get used to it. Um, but there's a lot of that going on. So we have those cameras up. So during, you know, I, every now and then I'll show a couple of the, cause when we, when something happens that we hear or we see, like I download it from the cloud. Uh, sometimes it's nothing. It's cats. We have cats. Um, other times it's freaky and, it's like, like this, this was just a random thing. Uh, living room is right through that door on the, the right hand side. And we're just sitting in the movie and all of a sudden hear a loud bang and I get up and I look down there and I'm like this picture, it was, you know, it's, it's not obviously not the best hung picture, but it just kind of falls off. It's been there for years fell off nothing like that um awesome yeah you guys everybody follow each other let me uh give a shout out to Picture. Seder as well I, for, I forgot you were in here with all the all the demon screaming and shit going on good shout out there 
go follow them. But yeah, that's just a quick video. I and like you, that could be anything. It could have just, uh, you know, been hanging there for years, and then something happened. My fat ass walking around shook it, but it's never fallen before or since. So it's one of those like, is it or isn't it paranormal? Who knows? It just decided to not be hanging there anymore. Um, and then got, let's see, let me remove this media source. Let's open up another one. You got stuff like this where it's like, just abnormal you know that bag's been sitting there for hours and it just kind of moves this i was washing dishes and i set this dishwashing wand on a plate and then it just lifts up and falls over this one just like at random this bag that's been sitting there for days just moves like We've got other stuff. I just haven't put it on this computer yet. But yeah, the bag just like, it looks like somebody pushed it down. So there's, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. It's hard to say it's all paranormal or not. It's, it is what it is, man. Like I'm going to, I'm going to go through here. I've got, I don't have class till January 9th. So probably within the first week of January, I'm going to go through, I've got, um, I've got to find my VHS to, to digital copy interface. Um, because I've got a buddy, I've got to make some tapes. His, his parents passed when he was younger and he's got all these VHS tapes that are just sitting degrading. Um, so I told him I transfer them to a file, put them on DVD, you know, try to bring up the, uh, colors and audio and stuff for them and while i'm doing that i'm also going to go through our old home videos where we recorded what we thought and still to this day it's hard to explain away as paranormal activity and then probably the first week of january late night i'll do a a stream probably three o'clock in the morning pacific time and just show off all these videos let people say you know what they think's actually going on uh and react to them and go through some more stories but uh i think for right now i'm gonna end the stream i appreciate all of you stopping in i appreciate all the help and hints and everything getting me through the the first shift like i said we we made it we got one shift complete zero possessions we banished the demon we embalmed all three bodies and we burned that bitch. So that's a that's a hell of a shift. So I appreciate everything. Thank you. And uh, GG's. Yeah, for sure. And I will definitely um, play this again. I'll probably have my wife do it in VR because she's been excited to play the game. So I'll probably stream when she plays it for the first time in VR because she she's a screamer. She will scream at most of this stuff. So um and she might quit halfway through and I might have to take over, but it'll be fun. Uh, appreciate the follows. Thanks for being baddies. Everybody's sticking with me. Um, so this is how I always end the stream. Look me in my fucking eyes. I love you all. I appreciate you and have a good rest of your day.